In this last part, we're going to go ahead and do the frequency polygons. So frequency polygons are essentially a line graph, but since polygons are closed, we have, we're just going to close it. So it's going to be what we know as a line chart, except we're going to do a little snazz, snazzy thing at the end um, to make it close and a nice little enclosure polygon. Okay, so we use the midpoint, just like the histograms, we use the midpoint of intervals and points are connected with straight lines to emphasize distribution of data. So let's go ahead and make a quick frequency polygon of the textbook costs in the previous example. Here I have the tick marks already and the frequencies, so all we need to know are the frequencies so we can plot those points. Let me go ahead and grab these frequencies. I'm just going to go like that and hit copy and then that way I can just put them down here and so we just know, okay, here are the frequencies. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and plot dots for each one. I'm going to do blue. I'm going to change it to a little bit bigger. Okay, so the first one was 160, and that's 5. And then 1, and I'm just going to plot them really quick. And that's all you're doing. 283, 7, 9, 6, 2, and 2, like that. Now go ahead and connect them with a line. So a left to right, we read left to right, so a line, 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 and see how the slopes are a little different when I do each line individually. And that's really important to see your distribution of data. So just like that. And that's a, that's a line graph. When we're using a frequency polygon, so the polygon part is going to be what I'm about to do. And that means it has to be enclosed. Notice that here, if I was a little ant, I could get out like, hey world, hey world, and I just wanna, arr, arr, no, you're in a cage, right? So that's what we're doing here. So draw a line to the origin like that, and not all the way, leave some room here and then take the rest of this room here and zigzag it down to the origin. Zigzag. Same with the other side. Close it up, not all the way, and zigzag it to the edge. And you know what that zigzag actually represents? It represents that this was not included into the data, that that last piece is strictly to enclose the graph. So if you ever see those zigzags in, your, in certain line charts, it's because it just wanted to make a frequency polygon and enclose it and note that these values here were not a part of the original data set. And that's all there is to a frequency polygon.